hello everyone welcome to another tutorial today we will learn how to input rigid element so rigid element is something which have higher uh, stiffness value than the normal pipe element and the stresses are not been calculated in those uh, for this rigid element so for rigid elements let us uh, draw a pipe element by continue and input dz and uh, here is the pipe element new pipe element and double click on the rigid and then here you have to specify the rigid weight you can find that value from the pipe data pro or uh, something other catalog and choose the type of rigid here valve or flange you can choose flange pair or you know, like flanged valve and now our rigid element is uh, specified so this is one method and there is another method i will show you just uh, input another pipe element suppose this is our pipe element and here you can continue the model and now let's delete this elements and our second technique uh, just input and go to model and from here go to valve and here you can choose the rigid type n type and the class as per your line list and here an option flange valve flange which means the counter flanges of the valve will be modeled and okay here our new rigid element is here okay now suppose our rigid element is modeled and now you can check the rigid weight which is automatically calculated from the scissor database and here the flange valve and flange is been modeled with three individual rigid element now suppose we want to uh, add a rigid element into an existing pipe element so for that uh, delete this model the valve model and add a uh, just pipe element and suppose we want to place a rigid element in this particular element for that select the pipe element and just select the pipe element and go to model and the valve and choose uh, as i shown previously and here you have to choose whether you, uh, you want to model the rigid element as the whole element or from the end or to the end i am here choosing from end and here you can show as per the scissor catalog the valve is modeled within a particular uh, limit and the surface uh, pipe element is there accordingly so that's it that's for today in our next tutorial we will learn how to model equipment nozzle okay thank you